If there is something to say about Italian, guys, ito for sure, they certainly do know how to make a good cup of coffee. So, everywhere dito sa Italy, maraming mga coffee bars. And Italians are truly coffee addicts. You might think that there are only two types of coffee na pwedeng yung order dito sa Italy, which are cappuccino or espresso. Well, mali kayo dyan because true coffee connoisseur know that the best part of Italian coffee is the variety. Ordering coffee in Italy is not only a matter of queuing at your favorite local Starbucks. Basically because, guys, hindi familiar ang mga Italians sa concept ng pagpipila. The Italian way to order a coffee is drinking it by standing up. Some part, especially sa mga city centers, if you order a coffee na nakaupo ka, they might charge you. So, you can order, yes, coffee a la carte, but double means an charge. There likely isn't a menu of the coffee drinks available anywhere to be found. And though Starbucks sounds very Italian, in fact, yung size nila na 20 actually means 20 in Italian and not the size of the coffee. So here is a handy little guide for you to choose your perfect coffee in Italy. Enjoy! Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. Ayan, so for today, um, we're gonna talk about the 8 types of coffee in uh, Italy. Okay? Some, let's say, some of the classic coffee that you will find in any coffee shop dito sa Italy. Okay? So, Italy is not only about espresso and cappuccino. So, may mga iba-iba pa tayong types of coffee. And today, you're gonna find out which one is suitable for you. Okay? So, it's morning sa akin ngayon. And uh, I'm enjoying my cappuccino, which is, I guess, one of the uh, famous coffee ng Italy. So, wherever you go, uh, around the world, no matter where you are, a cappuccino is always a cappuccino. So, isa lang yan. Um, whether you're in Asia, you're in Europe, or you're in the America, um, when you order a cappuccino, it's always the same. Same consistency, same yung pagkagawa. So, it's always a cappuccino, diba? So, uh, yung mga iba nilalagyan lang nila ng cinnamon or, or chocolate on top but still uh, yung uh, basic ano niya, ingredients niya it's always the same so yeah so today we're gonna talk about uh, the eight types of coffee so sa mga coffee lover na katulad ko uh, this is for you and I guess alam nyo na rin na ang Italy uh, has the one of the uh, let's say masarap na kape sa buong mundo uh, okay so Italian's cup is good so here you go check it out which, which one is for you number one in Italy when ordering you order un cafe and not un espresso because cafe does literally means coffee a cafe is basically a shot of espresso. Sune serve ito in a tiny cup and drunk all throughout the day. You can also have the cafe corretto, which is a shot of espresso corrected with a shot of liquor. The most common additions are a shot of grappa, sambuca, or cognac. Pero siempre, you can choose your own liquor. For example, a shot of Irish cream in your coffee. And number two. Cappuccino is probably Italy's most famous coffee. After all, dito sa Italy, walang grande, tall, or vente. Isang size lang po siya. And it's basically one-third espresso, one-third steam milk, and one-third Home. Italians eat and drink everything at a certain time, in a certain order because of how it affects digestion. With all the foam and milk, 
Italians consider a cappuccino a meal itself. So generally, hindi na nila in order ang cappuccino after 11 a.m. But with all these humors, at the end of the day, you can have your cappuccino whenever you want, even lunch or dinner or during merienda. So just enjoy it and cheers to a cappuccino. Number 3 Cafe Macchiato is, let's say, version ng espresso with a slightly foamy milk. It's an espresso with a drop or two of hot milk. And sinuserve siya sa same cup ng isang espresso. Since hindi siya masyadong milky like the cappuccino, Italians consider it perfectly acceptable to have at any time of the day. And this is number 4. The perfect mix of cocoa and espresso is known as the marocchino. Basically guys, ang ginagamit dito ay shot of espresso with a layer of foamy milk and on top nilalagyan siya ng sprinkle of cocoa powder. Compare naman sa isang macchiato, this is more milky. And sa northern part ng Italy where I live, ang ginagamit dito ay hot chocolate mixed with espresso and then ililayer nila ng foamy milk on top together with a cocoa powder. Number 5 So, if you order just a latte in Italy, masusurprise kayo nang isuserve sa inyo is just a tall glass of milk. Because what in the US they call latte, dito sa Italy, ang tawag is cafe latte. It consists of one-third espresso, two-third heated milk, and a little foam. And considering that this is a milky type of Italian coffee, ang mga Italians will have this one before 11 a.m., just like the cappuccino. And siyempre, don't confuse the cafe latte with the latte macchiato, which means stain or mark with milk. Basically guys, isa tong glass of milk and on top nilalagyan siya ng espresso. So, enjoy the latte macchiato. Number 6 And syempre, hindi lang puro hot drinks ang mga coffee dito sa Italy. We also have the shakerato. Shakerato is Italy's answer to the Starbucks iced coffee and on a hot day, basically during warm weather or summer season. Although technically the most refreshing Italian beverage on a hot day is a spritz Aperol. But the Shekerato is perfectly acceptable to drink before 11 a.m. It is chilled espresso, poured over ice, and shaken. Number 7 If you are somewhere in the world, the choice is chai tea latte, which is impossible to find in Italy. So, ang alternative mo is cafe al ginseng. Ito is close to a nutty flavor and maganda tong alternative if you crave for a chai tea latte. Basically, it's an espresso prepared with ginseng extract and needs no other sweetener. It also increases our energy and tinutulungan niya tayo with our digestion. So having cafe al ginseng is also good during lunch or even after dinner. And of course, last but not the least, the number 8. And last but not the least, Cafe Dorzo, a shot of what looks like and almost tastes like espresso. Galing ito from a brood of roasted barley, so organic, 
naturally caffeine-free and has a delicate taste. As an earthy flavor at ang taste nito guys is between a coffee and a tea. So guys, kung hindi kayo sanay, you're bound to think that Italian coffee is too strong or too thick. So now that you have these few tips, I do hope na take note kayo and of course, enjoy your Italian coffee experience. So guys, um, shout out to uh, another coffee lover like me. Ayan. Si Tito Ren Villanueva. Hi Tito Ren from California, USA. Mega mega shout out. And I believe this um, video ma appreciate mo kasi coffee lover ka kapatid ko. So again, mega mega shout out Tito Ren Villanueva. Mama. And now you're a pro. And don't worry if you feel overwhelmed when walking into a bar. By the way guys, ang tawag namin sa mga cafe dito is bar. So someone inside will surely offer to assist you. Usually naman guys, ang mga waiters dito are very friendly. The most important thing is pagpasok mo sa isang bar is you enjoy the atmosphere. Breathe the scent of freshly ground coffee and sweet pastries. And enjoy the taste of real Italian coffee while you can. After this video, can you tell me which is your favorite coffee drink in Italy? Please let me know in the comment below. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and of course subscribe to my channel. As we always say, buon caffè a tutti!